Hello everybody, here is another power supply, Seasonic 550 watts, it's already opened, the man sent a picture to me of the fold, so I'm not gonna show you. Let's open it quickly and I will show you the problem, which is obvious. That's the inside, the power supply is clean, and as you can see, these are transistors of PFC section. And they're obviously blown, so I'm gonna proceed with opening, get the board out, and probably we'll see something underneath. That's we gonna find out pretty soon. Let's proceed with opening. This time I'm gonna show you the whole process in quick recording as you can see there are some burnings happened which is not good probably some SMD components are also bad and we are gonna replace them this is the closer look of the burning now I'm gonna clean something and uh, I already checked the SMD components. Here are some transistors, which is faulty. I'm gonna show it quickly also how I measure, how the reading should be. This controller is under the question, but we'll see it later. Okay, let's check together. As I said, I already checked. That's the diet bridge. All four diets should be good, and they are good. Let's check the fuse next. And the fuse is good, which is strange. Very often when the PFC transistors are bad, the fuse should be gone actually, but not this time. Let's remove the transistors. We don't have to check them since they are blown. That's the transistors, as you can, as you will see, that's the one. I'm gonna write its marking and voltage and current value. That's the crystal, which blue. Next, after removing transistors, it is actually a proper time for checking the rest of the board in order not to be fooled by readings with those transistors. That's a small PNP and NPN transistors which drive the main transistors and this one from base to collector is 24 ohms which is definitely not good so we should remove all four of them. Also there are two resistors that goes to the gates. These are also blown. Here we can see transistors. And resistors you cannot see, but these are 20 ohms. Now I'm removing those. Here I remove transistors quickly. Now I'm gonna put new ones, the same volume, same same voltage, same amperage, all the same, obviously. It's not necessary to put the same marking. If you don't have it, just stick to the voltage and amperage and, of course, the structure. You cannot put a MOSFET where it should be a bipolar transistor. Also, when you have a PFC problems, you definitely have to check the bulk capacitor because very often it's the capacitor who's to blame it loses its capacity and the power supply behaves weird and dies quickly let's connect my super tester high-tech tester just like this turn on and 
it's okay 350 micro the losses are minimal resistance is also good so I put it back just to reassure myself that's the transistors I'm gonna put same voltage same amperage now I add thermal grease the white one silicon one which is usually used in power supplies not a gray one you use on your GPU graphic cards and stuff like that I don't know why but there are also always white thermal grease Remove the excess, solder it, solder it properly, which is not to be done actually. I should check it first and then solder everything properly. But I was too confident that everything should work. That's why I put all like this, connect the mains confident that it's gonna work for sure but not this time not always I'm so lucky and as you can see when I turn on the voltage the lamp the safety lamp glows bright which indicates that we've got a problem somewhere at the primary section now you can see it also the close look at the lamp one more time turn on the voltage turn off the voltage and the lamp turned off also oh anyway I discharge the capacitor just in case maybe it contains some high voltage and uh, also I'm starting to check and as you can see here is the driver output to those transistors and it is actually too low it should be about 0 0.6 volts so the controller is bad I put a new one pretty quickly also that's a new one PFC controller just like this CM CM6500 the controller this is the copper chunk which I use for cooling down the boards the IC I like it it's pretty heavy and reliable after cooling down the board and the IC let's measure again the output of the controller and as you can see it now it's 0 0.6 volts which is good let's try it one more time and hope that this time it's gonna work right we did everything we replaced everything it should work definitely but not this time actually if I replaced the controller right at the beginning before checking that would work but now as you can see there is a short something short and I really was disappointed and I didn't know what to check also as you can see three volts only on bulk capacitor at the output of the diet bridge is also about three volts I started to check everything and found that the transistor that I put was bad again because of the bad controller which killed it when I tested it for the first time after replacing the transistor as you can see the power supply starts the PFC section works let's check it together it should be about 380 390 volts and uh, as you can see it's about 390 volts it means the power supply is ready to be put back let's put everything back pretty quick I'm starting to work quick 
as you can see that's the experience you can work quick when you have enough experience maybe i shouldn't show you the process but just for the difference i decided to show you okay after i put it back i decided to check it one more time before put all the screws and the fan starts and stopped stopped i said why but then i saw the button i touched it actually with my tester and i i understood that it's a hybrid mode and you can decide what mode to choose fan always spinning or fan spinning after some load is put on it or some temperature rise and i connected mains this time and as you can see all the voltages are here power good is here this power supply is saved from trash and that's it for this one if you like it give it a like and see you next time goodbye